Hello my dear students. So today we are going to start next exercise. Exercise 6D. Okay. <clears throat> we are page number 118. So there are various questions here we have to learn how to multiply the decimal number. So first question we have. Multiply. Now here 10 questions are there. Okay. In uh, this multiply total number of questions we have 10. Now out of 10 I will solve 5 and I will show you the process and the remaining 5 will be your homework. You have to do it by yourself. So the first question we have uh, 7.37 into 10. 7.37 into 10. So here I will teach you the two methods. One you can directly do it. So how will you do directly? See. Now suppose here is we are multiplying with number 10. Okay. 10. So if if you are multiplying by 10 or 100, what you have to do that we have to move this decimal point towards the right side. So if there is one zero means it will move, this decimal point will move right hand side to this number. Okay, or we can say that <coughs> this decimal point will move one place right side. So this can be written as 73.6 or we can do it the same by another method also. You can write it 7.37 into suppose say 10. Okay. Now we have to multiply like how we do it a simple multiplication. So 0 into 7, 0, 0 into 3, 0, 0 into 7, 0 into 1 into 7, 7, 1 into 3, 3, 1 into 7, 7. Now what we'll do that, uh, 0 we will add this number 7, 3, 7, okay. Now we have to check here after decimal how many numbers we have 2 digits. So this is 2 places we can call this one as 2 places and here no decimal place means 0 places. So how to put this decimal point uh, we have to see this number after decimal how many numbers we have or how many digit we have so in first case after decimal we have two digit so we can write this one as two places here there is no decimal point this is a whole number so we can write zero place that means there is no decimal decimal point now while adding you have to see a way to keep put this decimal point so here you have to add these two so two plus 2 plus 0 equals to 2. That means where will be the decimal point? Decimal point will be placed in a we have to count it from 1, 2. So 2 places means 1, 2. So from right to we have to move in this direction. So we can say that answer will be 73.70 or we can write it 73.7 so after decimal point that 0 have no value so we can write it directly 73.7 now I will teach you next method we can solve this one by another method also Seven point three seven into suppose you have 10 now when we remove this decimal point suppose say after decimal we have two number then we can write this one as 737 by 100 now here you have to understand why i am writing 100 because after this decimal we have two number so here we have to put two a zero into here we have 10 now we can reduce this 1 0 1 0 can be cancelled out so remaining one is 7 3 7 by 10 now if there is 1 0 we have to put decimal point after one number so from this side we have to see the number so this can be written as 73.7 so this will be your answer now i have taught you three methods whichever you feel easy you can proceed with that method now next question I am going to solve question number 3 
Now question number three we have ninety four point seven eight into hundred. So first method by directly inspection. By inspection method, what we see that if there is a two digit or two number after this decimal point, and when we are multiplying it by hundred, this decimal point will vanish, and we can write it as ninety four seven eight. We can directly write it. Now the next method, what we can do that ninety four point seven eight into hundred. So now in order to remove this decimal point, we can divide it by hundred because why hundred? After decimal, we have two numbers, so we have to divide it by two zero. So this can be written as nine four seven eight by hundred into we have hundred. Now once again, listen here. How this decimal point is removed? When we remove this decimal point, what we have to see after decimal, we have two numbers. So here we have to divide it by two zero. So it will be hundred. Now this hundred. Hundred can be cancelled out, so your answer will be nine four nine four seven eight. So we are getting same answer. Okay, so this is for question number three. Now, next question, question number five. I am going to solve this question number five. And question number five we have. Zero point zero four zero eight into hundred. So here also, what you have to see that if we are multiplying by hundred, and if decimal point is here, when we multiply, so if there is two zero means this decimal point will move to this place. Okay, so this can be written as zero point uh, zero. Zero four point zero eight. Why zero four point zero eight? Because see, decimal point is here, and you are multiplying it by hundred. So this decimal point will move towards a right side. So two numbers are there means two places. One two. So one two. So decimal point will be here. So this is by simple inspection method. Now next one again I am showing you. If you put zero point zero four zero eight into hundred, then again what we do that see after decimal point how many numbers we have one two three four. So here we can write zero four zero eight by. I have removed this decimal. So when we remove this decimal point, we have to divide it by one two three four. Okay, one two three four because here also one two three four. So after decimal we have. Four number or four digits. So here, what we do that we will divide it by four zero. One, two, three, four. Into here we have hundred given in the question only. Now two zero and two zero can be cancelled out. So what we we'll get zero four zero eight by hundred. Okay, zero four zero eight by hundred. So this can be written as zero four point zero. Eight, or this can be written as four point zero eight also. So this will be your answer for this question number five. Okay, next question we have question number seven. In question number seven, we have zero point zero 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 one two three four five. Okay, six eight into we have one thousand. Now here we will also follow the same method. If there is three zero means this decimal point will move to right hand side. After three zero, so it, uh, directly we can write this one as zero point zero point, or we can write it zero zero zero. This one will move to three zero. So one two three. We can write it zero zero six eight point point zero zero six eight. Okay, zero point zero zero six eight or 
or we can do it by another method also 0 0.0000 0 0 0 0 0 0 6 8 into 1 1000 now check it after uh, after this call how many number we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ok ok so what we will do that here we will consider this one as 68 by C 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so here you have to put 7 0 3 4 5 6 7 into 1 how now this 3 0 3 0 can be cancelled out so what we are getting here 68 by 1 sorry 1 2 3 4 okay 64 uh, sorry 68 by 1 stands 100 1000 10 thousand. now see how many zero we have 1 2 3 4 but here number we have 2 so what we will do that we can write this one as 0 0.0068 why this 0 0.0068 because how many zero we have 1 2 3 4 so uh, this after decimal point we have to write 4 number that is 0 0 6 8 so this will be answer for question number 9 now next one more question I am solving from this question number 1 ok so here we have question number 9 question number 9 we have 0 point 0 0.0983 into 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, see here. 1, 2, 3, 4. How many zeros we have? 4. So, we can move this decimal point to right hand side after 1, 2, 3, 4. That means we can directly write this 9, 8, 3, so this will be your answer. Now we can do it by another method also. 0 0.0 0 0.0983 into 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so here now if you remove this decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have to divide it by 4, 0. Then we can write this number 983. This 0, you can write it or you can ignore this 0 also, no problem. Now here we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now this 4, 0 and 4, 0 can be cancelled out. We can write this one as 9, 8, 3. This 0 is not required. 0 before any number, there is no value. So it is better to ignore this. We can directly write it 9, 8, 3. Now, next I will move to this second question, question number 2. <coughs> Find the product. Question number 2 we have. Find the product. Okay. So first, first question, question number two we have zero point eight into zero point six. Okay. So here, what we we'll do that we we'll multiply simple multiplication zero point eight into zero point six. Okay. Now here, first check it. After decimal, how many digit we have? One. So you write it. One places. Places. Here also after decimal, how many digit we have? One. So consider this one is one places. Decimal after one. Now we will multiply. So eight six is a forty eight. Eight six is a forty eight. Eight carry four. Six into zero zero. This four will come into. Now 0 into 8 a 0. 0 into 0 a 0. Now we have to add this 8 4 a 0. But here you have to see that after decimal, in first case after decimal we have one place uh, one number again here also. In second case, after decimal we have one number. So total we have 2. 1 plus 1 plus 1. We have to add it. 
we have to add it. That means after when we when we place this decimal in the answer part, what we have we have to see two places means one two two places from this side we have to count the number and then we have to place this decimal. So we will get zero point four eight. Okay, zero point four eight will be your answer. Once again, list this one. First, what you have to do that we have to check. Okay, after decimal, how many numbers we have? So in first case, after decimal we have one number that is a. So write it one places. Now in second case, zero point six. So after decimal we have one number. So one places. Now. We will multiply by simple method. After multiplying, now you will get confused. Now where to place this decimal value? So in order to know where to place the decimal value, what we have to do that we have to add. So after decimal, suppose here it would have two places, two numbers. Suppose say three also. That means two places. So two plus one, three. But since in our question we have one, there also one. So one plus one, two. Okay, two. So From this side, we have to count the number one, two. So after this, we have to place this decimal value. So this is the way to find the product. Now I will do one more question to clear your concept. <coughs> Now second question we have <coughs> zero point. Zero zero eight into zero point zero zero seven. Okay, zero point zero zero eight into zero point zero zero seven. Okay. So first step, what we will do? We will simply multiply. Okay, simple multiplication we will follow. So here we have zero point zero zero eight into zero point zero zero seven. Okay. Now check it here. After decimal point, how many digit we have? So after this one, two, three. So you can ha you have here three places. Decimal after three places. Here also after decimal we have one, two, three. So here also three places. Okay. Now we will follow this multiplication process. So eight six is the fifty six. Okay, fifty six. So here we write six carry five. Now seven into zero zero. This five will come. Then seven zero zero seven zero zero into again zero into eight zero zero into zero 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 into zero 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 into zero zero. Now next we are zero into eight zero zero into zero 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 into zero 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 into zero zero. Now next. Here we have zero. So zero into eight, zero. Here we have zero, zero, and zero. Now we will add this number. So here we have six. Here we have five, zero. Here we have zero, 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 zero. Now check it. As I said, when you place the decimal value, first you have to add the places. So three plus three here. Three plus three. Places that means how much we have six places. So from this side, from this side we have to count the number one, two, three, four, five. Once again one, two, three, four, five, six. So what will be answer? Our answer will be a zero point zero 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 five six. So this will be your answer, and this is the way to multiply. Okay. Now next question. So question number six. Okay, this is the last question from this question number two, and the remaining one will be your homework. So two eight zero into we have zero point zero zero eight. So here also we will follow the same method. Okay, two eight zero into zero point zero zero eight. We will multiply this 
जीरो इंटू एट जीरो एट इंटू एट सिक्सटी फोर फोर कैरी सिक्स एट टू जा सिक्सटीन प्लस सिक्स ट्वेंटी टू इंटू जीरो इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू एट जीरो जीरो इंटू टू जीरो नेक्स्ट वी हैव जीरो इंटू एट सॉरी जीरो इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू एट जीरो जीरो इंटू टू जीरो ना हियर जीरो इंटू जीरो 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 इंटू एट जीरो जीरो इंटू जीरो सॉरी जीरो इंटू टू जीरो ओके नाउ वी विल एड दिस सो हियर वी हैव जीरो ओके हियर वी हैव जीरो नाउ फोर नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू नेक्स्ट आल्सो वी हैव टू जीरो 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 नाउ हियर सी आफ्टर After decimal, how many number we have? One, two, three. That means three places. Three places. So from this side, we will count the three number. One, two, three. So here will be the decimal point. So it can be two point two four zero, or this can be written two point two four. So this will be your answer. Now next question, question number three. Question number three also we have find the product. Find the product. So here also total question we have six. Out of six, I will solve three, and the remaining three will be your homework. So first question we have four point nine into two point two point seven. So you also will follow the same method. Four point nine into two point seven. So after decimal, how many places? Ah, uh, how many numbers we have? One. So write it one places. Places. Here also after decimal we have one digit. So one places. Now first we multiply. Nine seven is sixty three. So three carry six. Seven two is twenty eight plus six. Thirty-four, thirty-four into two nines are eighteen. Eight carry one. Four two is eight plus one nine. Now we have three. Eight plus four twelve. Two carry one. Nine plus three twelve plus one thirteen. But here you have to say one place is one place. So here one plus one. So when we have to put this decimal point after two places means. From this side, we have to count the number one, two. So here will be the decimal point. So this can be written as thirteen point two three. So this will be your answer, and this is the method to put the decimal point in the case of this multiplication. Now next question. Next question we have. Six point six point seven six into six point seven six into twenty nine twenty nine. So here we will follow the same method. Okay, so six point seven six into twenty nine. So this twenty nine is a whole number. So here, after decimal, how many place? How many numbers or how many digit we have to one two? That means two places, two places. Here you have to write two places. Here there is no decimal point, so zero places, zero places. Now what we will multiply? Nine six fifty four four carry five. Nine seven is the sixty three plus five sixty eight carry six. Nine six is the fifty four plus six sixty into two into six two six is the twelve two carry one seven two is the fourteen plus one fifteen five carry one six two is the twelve plus one thirteen. Okay, so we will add this four eight plus two ten zero carry one. 
5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 1. Now see here, 2 plus 0, 2 plus 0 places. That means 2 plus 0 equals to 2 places. So we will put that decimal point after 2 places. So from this side we will count the number. 1, 2. So we will put here. Answer will be 196.04. So this is the answer for question number 3 sub by 2. Now last question from this section. Question number 5 we have 0 0.0085 into 91.6 So we will multiply in a simple process So 0 0.0085 into 91.6 Now as I said first what you have to do We have to check after decimal Place after decimal how many digits we have so 1 2 3 4 so here after decimal we have 4 ready 4 places here after decimal we have how many digits 1 so what you do 1 places now we will multiply 6 5 is a 30 0 carry 3 6 8 is a 48 plus 3 51 1 carry 5 <coughs> then 6 into 0, 0, 5 will come, then 6, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0 into here, 1 into 5, 5, 1 into 8, 8, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, okay, now, one more time, 9, 5, 45, 5, carry 4, then, 9 is 72 plus 4, 76, 6 carry 7, then 9, 0, 0, the 7 will come, 7, then 9, 0, 0, 9, 0, 0. So after this what we will do that we will add 0, 5 plus 1, 6, 5 plus 5, 10 plus 8, 18, 8 carry 1, 6 plus 1, 7, the 7, 0, 0. So, here, next step, what will do that, we will add, after this one, how many places we have, 4 plus 1, 5, so 4 plus 1 places, that means, when we have to put these decimal places after 5 digits, so from this side we will count the number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so where it will be, decimal point will be here, so we can add 0 0.7, Seven, eight, six, zero. Now after placing this, this zero you can ignore also. So you can directly zero point seven seven eight six. Okay, zero point seven seven eight six. So this will be the answer. Now in next class we will start the next topic.